Hello, welcome back to the Cricket Nerds. It's our next video in the in the preview series for the IPL. Today we're looking at Look Now Super Giants. Who are they looking pretty super, James? I don't know. You tell me. Oh, quite a big question to to kick things off. I'd say they're looking all right. I've got very mixed feelings about them, to be honest. I think somewhere in there is probably a really good side. But whether or not that will be the side that they field, I don't know. They've just got, I think they've got a lot of reliance on some kind of, I don't know, weird players is is how I'd potentially describe them. Uh, so like Amit Mishra, for example, the guy's 41. He's been playing forever. And yet he is probably the, like, I don't know, I, I he might play. And that's like that's the kind of weird spot that LSG find themselves in. Like they've got they've obviously got Rabbi Bishnoi, they've got Irish Badoni, they've got some exciting players there that can do really cool things. But at the same time, they've got like you know they're opening with Kale Rahul and Quinton de Kock, who are both kind of anchor players and could genuinely score thirty off thirty and then go out, and then they could lose. So, you know, I what what are their what are their what are their strengths? What do you think? It's their batting has to be their strength. Um, I mean, they bat three to eight with Krunal Panja coming in later on, um, at least depending on how the the squad looks. They've also like you look at that top three: Quinton de Kock, Carahul, Devda Padukel. They are very slow players, but with the batting to follow, with Deepak Huda, Nick Poran. Marcus Stoinis, Ej, Bedoni, Krunal Panja, they could cause some serious havoc. And LSG could be the sort of team that if they lose wicket at, wickets early, they might end up scoring 230. If Kara Hall and Quinton de Kock stay in, they could score 190. But the point is, they've got really strong batting. And I think that that's the thing that's going to win them more games. Uh, their bowling, for me, is where they're lacking. Um, they're most experienced overseas seamer is either David Willey or Naveen al Haq. So there's no like superstar bowler in there. And then they've got Shivan Mavi, who they paid a lot for. So they've got decent seam bowling options. Also, Mohsen Khan had a pretty good season last year. They've got some decent seamers, but there's no standout player in that. Unless Shamar Joseph is like, that's the recency bias pick, isn't it? Shamar Joseph, after what he did to Australia yeah. in Australia, not in conditions akin to India he's not got much t20 experience so yeah who knows really for for look now there are a lot of unknowns and we don't really know how their bowling lineup's going to stack stack up until we we watch these first few games and, and see how they get on because for me a lot rests on the batting over the bowling yes i am um, i'm really intrigued by what they do like the balance that they strike because realistically they are going to open with Quinton de Kock um, it's either him or Kyle Mayers and then they have to play Nick Poran because he is one of their best players um, Mike, Marcus Stoinis almost certainly plays so straight away you've got three players that like are, are locks and it means that you've only got one properly experienced seamer in there um, in, in the overseas slot and then no, with you've got Shivan Mavi now, who's good in the opening phases, but he's not necessarily um, a great, uh, an accomplished death bowler. He's also like he's also quite young; like he hasn't really proven himself on a, on the big stage completely yet. So I'm really interested. I'm just going to read out my my eleven or twelve, and I'll let you say what you think. So I've got Kale Rahul and uh, Quinton de Kock opening. Nick Poran at three, Deepak Huda four. I've got Marcus Stoinis at five, Ayush Badoni at six. And then I put Prerak Mankad in at seven. Just he's an all-rounder. Mm -hmm. um, he, he's been quite good. Uh, but I, I don't know if seven's a little bit low for him. I think he might prefer to bat a little bit higher. Uh, Krunal Panja eight, Ravi Bishnoi nine. Naveen al Haq at 10, Shiva Mavi 11, and Mohsin Khan at 12 as, okay. as the impact sub. Mm. I've basically Obviously. got the same, except I've not played Prerik Mankad. Devdut Padakal fits in at three and everyone else 
chunts down. Um, okay, yeah. But when you look at the strengths in the bowling lineup for LSG, it's the spinners. Um, Ravi Bishnoi, and Krunal Pandya, pretty good economical, also wicket-taking options. They've got Amish Mitra, who his experience is pretty handy. Um, he's a decent leggy. Krishnapa Gautam as well as like a bowling all-rounder option. The issue is, is if they go with spin-friendly pitch, you look at their batting lineup and they all like pace on the ball. So, yeah, it's going to be interesting to see how they they prepare the pitches in look now to see if it suits their team because I don't really know how that's going to work. Um, but yeah, it, it's for me, it's actually quite a strong squad and, and they've got a very strong batting lineup. And... I feel like we're saying quite a lot of negative stuff, but I actually think that they're going to do all right. Um, I've got them coming down as fifth um, in the table um, just because I look at that batting and I think they can post any score, they can chase any score. And based on how their bowlers have done in previous seasons, I'm I'm sticking with the, the fact that they'll continue in that form. But that's probably unlikely to happen <laughs> given that all our predictions end up being wrong, don't they? But there we go. Yeah, um, yeah. yeah consistently um but yeah i've got them at sixth so okay. uh i i had chennai at fifth which is quite a controversial take but it's, it's what my heart tells me and yeah lsg i think um there is a strong squad there i just think there is enough in that bowling lineup that could go wrong mm. um, and I, I think like mark wood that, that loss is quite significant actually because he was really good in a few games last season. He basically won games for LSG. And I don't know if they've got the rest of the bowling lineup to be able to really scare other teams. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. again, absolutely could get proven wrong. Please let us know what you think in the comments. Um, also, don't forget to like and subscribe. Tell your friends about us. Promote this channel if you can. Um, and... You can also support us uh, and get access to some really awesome exclusive content by becoming a member. And that is the, the link for that is in the description down below. We'll see you guys very soon in the next episode, which will be in about 12 hours time. So uh, see you then and goodbye.